tree. It's like a maze. You could take about a million different paths to get around here. Look at all these. This is insanity. And yet somehow I think, in a weird way, they all end up back where you started. Oh, actually this is the, the greenhouse, which I know they have a greenhouse on the grounds and stables. And then here I found a little chapel just kind of in the middle of nowhere. I just looked up online, it says that this chapel was actually constructed in the 16th century by Hieronymite monks. I think that's how you pronounce it. Check this out. That's right outside the chapel. Now there's so much moss, I almost can't walk. <laughs> I'm seriously starting to feel like I'm in Lord of the Rings right now. There's a whole world back here I didn't even know existed. They don't even talk about this online when you're coming to this place. Don't drink the water, whatever you do. Whoa! Another secret tunnel. Hello in there. Now we're entering the land before time. Look at this little bridge, this little wood bridge. Of course there's a little path here. We may never make it to the Moorish castle. I mean, honestly, who cares how long it takes? The only thing we're supposed to be doing is be here right now doing this. I would love to have Ja with me right now. Other than the rain, he would love this hike. Oh, cool. The good thing about being in Portugal, especially right now at this time of the year, is that the sun is up until freaking 9 30 or 10 o'clock it feels like so this park's actually open till 8 p.m. so we're in no rush what's this up here huh let's do it I may not know the difference between any kind of bird but I do know those are ducks I've seen those before Man, look at these dinosaur trees. These things are monstrous. I just saw something in the distance we have to go look at real quick. Another detour. That thing. This is called the Little Birds Fountain. One single solitary flower in there. God, I love Portugal. So since this is a national park, or a whatever park here, Los Angeles, we need to talk about parks. <laughs> what is this? They have this open so you can go in it. It looks like this was kind of the reserve water for the palace. Yeah, there's a fountain in there with fish. There's the other side. What a waterfall, look at that. I love it. Go check out what's over here. Other than the bad lighting, I kind of enjoy it raining out here. Wow, take a look at that.
Look at this. All right, we made it to the Moorish Castle, or at least the walkway there. 400 meters. There's almost something perfect about it being this spooky and hazy out for a castle, right? Here's part of the old wall. So I'm walking on this second level, but there's another level that goes down. Way down. If you were wondering if this is rain or sweat, it's both. I'm wearing a down jacket, so I'm sweating like a monster. It says that these were once Islamic houses right here under the, uh, the wall of the castle. There's the guard's tower. All right, we finally made it to the entryway here. All right, we're in here. It's like a metal uh, gazebo here. It's a real bummer this haze is just gonna kinda kill a lot of the experience as to what you guys should be seeing. There's about a billion pathways you can take up here. All the way around the castle. You're not gonna get to enjoy any kind of view though, right? <laughs> That's it, white. All right, I hope you guys won't be too mad at me, but you're not gonna be able to hardly see any of this because the, the weather conditions. So I'm gonna go walk around it and I'll show you things if there's anything that I can show you, but basically you're missing all the views and everything because of the haze, I'm sorry. <laughs> really all it feels like there is up here are views and steps. I'm not seeing much else. We can either go this way or up. Let's go up. We're already really high up anyway. This makes it a little easier on the heights for me because they give you the option when they built this of a ramp or stairs. Let's take a break like they would have. There's just nothing like getting out of your comfort zone and going somewhere and exploring and you know, like I mentioned in the vlog the other day, like I owe a lot of that to Anthony Bourdain, just seeing his shows and seeing him get out and do stuff and try stuff that never even seen before. Things that were only in history books and National Geographic to me, so thank you Anthony Bourdain. All right, let's keep going. Oh man, the rain. All right, this is the only option, let's go. We made it to the Royal Tower. All right, let's keep going. I hear this is the only way to wrap around the castle. We've officially made it to the highest point. Now let's keep going. I'm really glad probably that I can't see what's below me. Man, it's crazy all that we've done today. I mean, including that train ride and everything. We've done a lot. Oh, here's another side of the wall that we didn't get to yet. That's cool. Yes. We just came down this part. Check out that. I think we're pretty much at the end. I think this is where I started down at the bottom of this. All right, we're done. We made it to the end. Hello. All right, guys, let's get out of here. Taking a shortcut home. Tie up your horse. So I just took this weird alley out of the Moorish castle and look what I stumbled upon. You never know what you'll find if you keep your eyes open. Does that say the house of Hans Christian Andersen? Portugal from 1866? I don't know, we'll have to figure out, I'll have to translate that, but that's sure what it looks like. I'm taking a shortcut home. Gonna end the vlog in the backyard, I think. Well, my friends, I think this is as good a place as any to call it a day. Hope this inspires you to get out and do something out of your comfort zone. I hope it inspires you to go see somewhere that was just a name on the map to you. Hope it inspires you to go out and have fun. Have a great night, and we'll see you all tomorrow. Goodbye.